Hello. In today's Arduino lesson, we'll be discussing RGB LEDs. An RGB LED, or red-green-blue light-emitting diode, is a type of LED that can emit light in three primary colors, red, green, and blue. By adjusting the intensity of each color, RGB LEDs can produce a wide range of colors, including various shades of red, green, blue, and mixed colors like yellow, cyan, and magenta. RGB LEDs typically have four pins. The longest pin can be either the positive or the negative. RGB LEDs are manufactured as either common anode or common cathode based on the condition of this pin. If it is an anode, 5 volt voltage is applied to the longer pin, while if it's a cathode, the longer pin is connected to the GND pin. Consequently, in a common anode type, the circuit should be completed by connecting the ground line to the red, green, and blue pins. In a common cathode type, they are powered by applying voltage to the red, green, and blue pins. In the circuit design, you observe that voltage is applied to the longer pin of the common anode type, while the other pins are connected to digital input-output ports of the Arduino. Similarly, in the common cathode connection, the longer pin of the RGB LED is connected to the ground line, while the other pins are linked to the digital input-output ports. In this context, it's important to note that the RGB LED pins connected to Arduino's digital input-output pins are specifically attached to pins 3, 5, and 6. The common feature of these pins is that they are capable of generating digital PWM output. PWM, pulse width modulation pins on Arduino are used to generate signals with varying pulse widths. To enhance clarity of our education, we continue to conduct our applications through Tinkercad. 5 volts of voltage was applied to the positive rail of the breadboard and the ground line was connected to the negative rail. A GB LED has four pins. The second pin of these legs is labeled cathode, indicating that the one used in Tinkercad is a common cathode type. So we need to apply 5 volt voltage to the red, blue and green pins. We included 330 ohm resistors in the circuit due to the LEDs being used. Let's apply 5 volt voltage to the red pin. We can change the color of the wire to red. Upon running the simulation, we observe that the LED illuminates in red. Disconnecting the current setup, we'll apply 5 volt to the third pin for the LED to light up blue. We'll choose blue color for this wire. In this case, upon running the simulation, we observe that the LED illuminates in blue. Then, let's cancel this connection as well and make the connection for the fourth pin to enable the LED to glow green. Running our project, we see the LED shining green. So, what happens if we apply 5 volts to all pins of it? When we run our project like this, we obtain the white color. We practically observe the usage of a common cathode RGB LED through the Tinkercad application. In our classes, the RGB LED we'll use in the physical environment is common anode, so we'll learn about both types. Let's meet again in the next lesson.